Mob Wives star Karen Gravano spoke on Long Island recently as one of four featured celebrity authors in this year's Kidney and Neurology Foundation Hatton Author Luncheon held at the Woodlands Mansion in Woodbury. I'm excited to talk to everyone. I'm really glad of the response. Like People watch me on Mob Wives and they think I'm a certain way, but now they see me in person and they realize that I'm not so gangster in person. <laughs> I'm a lot funner, but um, yeah, it's fun and interesting and I'm really glad to be here. The other authors included radio personality cousin Brucey, Long Island Authors Group President Carrie Ann Flanagan Broski and sports writer Mike Shalin. Anything I can do to help people. Uh, we're in a uh, situation today in this world of ours that on this planet, if we don't help each other, nobody's out there to help us. So obviously, if somebody says, hey, we need some help, and I have a time, and uh, I want to help. So here I am, and I'm going to talk about my book and talk about growing up in the 60s and watch the other authors. and. Uh, Watch all the beautiful ladies in their hats. What I love about being an author is that you can get out into the community and you know help out organizations like this and you know spread the word on what they're trying to do and help to raise money. And it's really nice because writing can be very reclusive, as you know, and you're, you're stuck in the house or in the office writing for a long period of time. So something like this not only gets me out into the world, but if I can help others and uh, you know raise money, it's even better. My family also has a connection to the Kidney uh, Foundation and all the different groups. My, my brother ran a charity basketball game for the, for the Nephrosis Foundation or whatever 54 years ago and um, uh, got all kinds of local basketball players to come out and, and as a funder. He was in high school at the time. And then my mom always worked for the, uh, for the Kidney Foundation. And so, you know, it's kind of, I don't want to say near and dear, but there, I do have a connection to it. This is the fifth annual Hatton Arthur Luncheon, and organizers say it's become an important fundraiser for the Kidney and Urology Foundation. It's one of the bigger events that we have here on Long Island. Uh, every year it seems to be getting better and better. Uh, we have a regular uh, cadre of people who attend from Long Island, and uh, they came this year and they came out in, uh, in, in strength and in numbers. It was great to have them. And of course, this being a hat and author luncheon, you know, everyone had to wear a hat. In fact, everyone we spoke with says this was a great, fun way to raise money for a good cause. I'm just excited to be here. Everyone's wearing their hats, except me. I've got mine at home, so I'm going to have to get one at the table. But it's just, it's a real friendly atmosphere. I am a hat person. I don't get a chance to wear them very often, so I was glad to be able to dig this one out for the springtime. But it's really nice to see people walking around wearing these beautiful hats. It was a great day. I mean, here we are on this gorgeous day on a golf course at the Woodlands. Everybody was dressed up in hats and dresses, and even the men, I made the men wear ladies' hats, so that was a coup for me. They'll never forgive me. It was a glorious day. Uh, lots of money was raised, and we just had a blast. In Woodbury, Chris Kalora reporting.